Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jacer. Uh, recently, I'm taking a look at the uh, React server component, and they mentioned uh, the technology of uh, streaming. So here is in the so I dig a little about the uh, stream API, and uh, here is a demo to show how we could take advantage of the uh, streaming ability uh, response uh, from the Fetch API. Okay, let's take a look. So this is a code sandbox demo. Uh, it's in the uh, description up below this video. Uh, if you're interested, please take a look. It's actually, it's just a express server. Uh, you see, we create this server and we serve the in index HTML. Okay, the index HTML currently do, do not, does nothing but uh, uh, just to fetch, uh, use fetch ABI and then just to console log the text. From this API, the API is defined in the stream endpoint, and let's take a look what it does in the stream. Okay, so it uh, writes this this Express API. Right, wake up, Neil, and uh, wait a uh, one second. So obviously, this is a a mock for some uh, heavy uh, calculations, and then it writes the matrix has you dot dot dot. Okay, so this is the opening from the film Matrix, right? Oh, I love Matrix film. Anyway, uh, so this API actually costs a lot of time. Let's take a look at how it uh, really works in the uh, client side. Let's see the lock. Okay, reload. One, two, three. We got new. The Matrix has you. Oh, yeah. So you see that the API actually is so slow. And in the real applications, if you have such as uh, the heavy server-side logic or the data is so big, uh, this is, might be a good a good uh, opportunity to use streaming API. Let's take a look at how the stream work. The stream work actually means that the response from the API actually comes in as a data chunk, right? Little by little, but the client, the browser actually uh, accumulates the data chunk and put it as a whole and finally returns to us in the uh, fetch callback. So this is it when the stream is done, which is which is triggered by this end here. The the client the browser say okay the, all the data is uh, is done now it handles to the then callback and then transform into text and uh, and then log it. So this is the whole process but we could do it better uh, this is the code. Don't worry, just uh, see the link link in my video, and you will get this. Uh, get get to this demo. So now we rewrite this code into fetch stream. This is the same. We call the API, and then we get the response. But the response stop body actually has a get reader method. You see that it says we returns a readable stream of a read buffer. Yeah, so we get this reader, and we can get the data chunk before the API uh, ends, before the end signal. So we could handle the data little by little, progressively. So which is just so pretty powerful. But uh, currently, I have never used it. Uh, possibly in in the future, like the React server component, maybe uh, we can see a lot more examples of this. Okay, so how should we read the data chunks? Remember, the data chunks to will, will be served from server to our client uh, a little by little, so right. So we will keep reading it. So we read it. We uh, we encapsulate the logic into this read function, and the reader read right. This will actually return the next batch of data. So we read it. This is a promise. If there is none, it will wait for the next chunk. So read it, and then. We get the data. The data has done and value. It's like the gen it's like the iterable, right? Yeah. The done will be said true when we call the end. We send as end signal so to let the let the client know that it, it, there is no more data. So we get the data chunk, and if it is done, we say okay, end, and just do nothing. If it is not end, it is not done. We keep reading, right? Yeah, if it is done, hmm? wait a minute, we forgot to. Oh, yeah. 
And、uh, mm? when it's done, there might be still some values, right? So there's a. There is a. Uh huh. Okay, always undefined when done is true. So, yeah, I see.、Uh, when it's done, there's no value. When it's not done, we need to get the value. The di-、uh, values are in the uh, uh, array buffer, so we need to transform into the de- text. We could use a text decoder and、uh, we decode it with text. And then, because it's not done, we read the next chunk, right? If it is not there yet, we wait. So, this, this is in the promise. So, this is kind of uh, uh, undefinitely, uh, wait, inf- infinitively. Uh, reach the data chunk and give us opportunity to handle the data. So let's see what it is now by、uh, this new、uh, streaming ability. We reload it. We cut new. The matrix has you. Da da da. N. Perfect, right? So this is a basic example that we could handle the response streaming data chunk by chunk. So progressively. And this is、uh, just about text. Maybe we could extend it. Like、uh, adding more data, like we send in a JSON or sending a binary, like an image, like a video, like, uh, like, uh, like the React team is doing, like serve the virtual DOM representation in a JSON. Well, well, it's pretty powerful. It's just the general, general ability to、uh, do things pr- progressively. Wow,、well, super cool, right? So, this is the first time I, I, uh, I re- For me, also to、uh, to take a look at how t h i n g is working. Okay, I hope it helps. This is a simple video, and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos. Yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.